Hey guys, me, Robert Tris Tomer here with this afternoon mountain weather update. I want to go to radar, starting to see the snow develop over the top of western and southwest Colorado. And this is where the bulk of the accumulation is going to be over the next couple, three days, western and southwest Colorado. All of this snowfall, not only in Colorado, but in Utah, associated with that large storm system finally pulling out of California, moving now into the Intermountain West. A nice surge of moisture over the top of the, uh, the Wasatch now snowing in southern Utah as well. So here's what I'm seeing this afternoon. A storm cycle will last until 210, and then it's going to change a little bit, and the emphasis will then be on the northern tier of states, Pacific Northwest and B.C. So the best snow, you can see the timeline in Utah, Wyoming now through 2.9, Colorado now through 2.8, a little drier on 2.9, then a little bit of snow comes back on 210. Overall, this big storm system will slide through the Intermountain West. But there are two other little pieces of energy that will come racing out of the Pacific Northwest, Northern California, and be absorbed and keep the snow going across the Intermountain West until 210. Then the pattern shifts to the northern tier of states, BC, Pacific Northwest, 212 through 214. That's where we're going to see most of the moisture um, hitting most of those areas. And then a drier pattern across the West, 215 through about 218, somewhere in there. All right, let me show you the uh, water vapor satellite imagery this afternoon. So oranges and reds are your drier air aloft, your moisture aloft is in uh, the whites, the blues, the greens. And there's our big storm system making its move into the Intermountain West. That's why we're seeing these areas of snow now develop over the top of Colorado and Utah, Wyoming, Montana, Idaho, and that storm's moving in. Now there's another big storm system up here. And what it's going to do, and you can almost see it happening, is it's sending these little waves, these pieces of energy out ahead of it. And these are going to ride down into the into the uh, lower 48 and be absorbed by that storm system right now that's over the Rockies. And that's what's going to keep the snow going through 2, 8, 9, and 10 in some areas. Here's the forecast radar and satellite. That's the current state of affairs. By tomorrow morning, widespread snow. Tetons, Wasatch, western and southwest Colorado, Idaho, big sky. And notice what's coming out of the Pacific Northwest, northern California. That's that next little impulse. Watch what it does. It rides down through the Sierra, and then it gets absorbed by the storm system. And it reinforces that snow across parts of not only Nevada, but southern Utah, in the Wasatch, Arizona, western and southwest Colorado, and also New Mexico. And then there's another piece. You can see it coming, sliding right out of the Pacific Northwest on 2829. And this will reinforce, again, the snowfall through Colorado and the Four Corners. And then it's gone. Then the flow shifts, and it's up there. Pacific Northwest BC, 212, 213, and also 214 in many of the same places. So it, it really hits BC, interior BC, North, central and northern Idaho, northwest Montana, Washington State, and then eventually some of that snow creeps down into the Tetons as well. There's 215, and then we're into a much drier pattern here with some ridging across the four corners, 215 to probably 217, 218. Okay. Let's take a look at the jet stream pattern. So this is tomorrow, 2-7, broad trough over the west, main storm system moving through the Intermountain West, two pieces of energy getting ready to slide in and be absorbed through 2-9, 2-10. Here's the jet on 2-9, and you can see that next piece of energy sliding in behind the main storm system, keeping things going. Now here's 2-15. By this point, you're getting some ridging across the four corners, and the pattern is favoring the northern tier, British Columbia, Pacific Northwest. All right, new snow numbers. Rest of today through tomorrow, 8 to 12 inches in the Wasatch. 4 to 6 up in the Tetons, Big Sky, Discovery. Another 4 to 8 for the Sierra. Western and southwest Colorado gets the most snow. 4 to 8 um, across western uh, and the I-70 corridor, western Colorado I-70 corridor, and potentially 1 to 2 feet down in the San Juans. That's the bullseye. Here's period two, 2.8 through 2.10, potentially one to two feet through the Wasatch, three or four in the Tetons and most of Montana. Western and southwest Colorado does well, another five to 10 through most of those places, heavier down over the top of the San Juans, and I think we'll squeeze out five or six over the top of the Conlow Divide, including Summit County. Uh, let's go to the last period. This is where that flow favors the northern tier. 
BC, Pacific Northwest. And in some cases, we could squeeze out significant snowfall. Look at Kicking Horse up to Revelstoke, Fernie, Red Mountain, 6 to 12 inches. Schweitzer gets uh, potentially hit hard. Northwest Montana as well. Baker, Rainier, and Whistler all do well, if that pattern holds. One last stop into the northeast. Not much snow here. 1 to 3 inches at best, I think, throughout the period, 2.6 through 2.15. And a lot of that happens later in the period. All right, guys, that's going to do for this afternoon mountain weather update. Thanks for tuning in here. Always appreciate it and take care.